Thanks for coming and uh, uh, appreciate our fans and the incredible atmosphere at that time in the horseshoe. Uh, I don't think we played a clean game. I do not want to take anything away from our opponent because that's two weeks ago that they just swung some of the cost too good. Uh, we're very good players. Uh, our defense, you know, we gave us a pass yards there. Certainly too many at the end for the most part. They just kept us you know, because offensively we were sloppy and, and not executed at a high level. And then, uh, uh, you know, once it got going, <coughs> we had some big plays and then scored enough points for the game. So I answer any questions for you. Front row right now over here, Tim. Yeah, Urban, uh, was that the call for Cardale? Was that a keeper on his own? Was that a little option play? The, 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 uh, the clinching touch down there at the yeah, end? Yeah, we knew they were going to be blitzing it. it was still, that was a, a direct run, a yeah. run where we just kept everybody down and we knew it would be all over the place. And uh, we wanted to keep, at that point, keep the clock running. And uh, yeah, that was a direct run. Yeah, and the other thing, with JT, uh, like you said, you'll, 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 uh, Address that this coming week and stuff. Uh, will he admission? Will he be in the the running for the starting job this coming week? Yes. Uh, second row left, Austin. Urban, how would you evaluate Cardell going back out there just as a whole? And then, as you said, what do you need to see in the early part of the week as you make that decision? Well, it's just the accuracy and the throw game. Uh, you know, that's. I, I feel like, and it's hard for me to say now that. I don't see, I've done on the field that you can't see a thing down there. And, and, uh, when there, you know, we get some situations where there might be like bear zero or the no deep situations that they're gonna, they're gonna do the best they can to take away Zeke and they're pretty much dead. And you only have 114 yards and um, 26 carries, but uh, we're gonna want to get him out, you know, like we like to. And there's only one way to do that. And it's been that way since the beginning of the evolution of football. You do this, you have to be able to hit those. What we do, we, uh, we move the ball. So uh, obviously, we had a couple big ones, you know, the Jalen, uh, Braxton, and a couple other ones. So we just got to continue to work at that. Over here to the right, Clay. Did you want to throw deep more in the second half? It seemed like you stretched it a little bit more. I wanted to hit the deep ones. Yeah. Uh, that's just throw. Really? Just throw. Just throw. <laughs> and he hit the deep ones. <laughs> and how did he? Uh, okay, you know, uh, I can't remember when uh, Jalen, I think Jalen's in the first half. Second half, we had Braxton, very good, uh, no deep situation. Uh, but yet Curtis on one, we had Braxton on another one, we had the linemen made mistakes. And, you know, those are those situations that, you know, we're, we're cooking, we're nailing. You know, those are the situations that we get no deep or, or nine up, eight up, to stop the run, and you have to hit those deep balls. You said sloppy, but several, uh, you may not be aware of Three or four, I don't know how many I've beaten. TCU, Michigan State, Memphis lost today. Survive in advance. Yeah, I'll say about 9 0. Chance to 10 0, that's it. And, uh, with a good bunch of people. That's what I can't wait to go back to work Middle left, Bill. First of all, how's Braxton? I think he should be all right. I just talked to him, and uh, I'll know more tomorrow. And what was the, is it more in the shoulder? Or chest? What was the? I'm not quite sure. I think mean, he just got the wind knocked out of him. A little bit, so I'll <coughs> and the interception by Bob Bell when they initially called call targeting, were you pretty sure it was not how we was, was we were thinking about I just that? saw I didn't see it. I just saw it on the big screen like everyone else did. I can tell. Front row right here, Andy. Coach, your overall grade on Cardale and in, in the offense performance as a whole and you know I'll you said slot I'll more I'll go more tomorrow and watch the video today. A lot of times when I used to do that wrong. Just kind of your overall impression of you know just coming off of the game. Oh, uh, not what I expect. I expect to play better, and I hate to say that because it sometimes sounds like we're taking on our opponent. Rugged group, and uh, uh, but just uh, expect much more efficiency out of our offense. Far left. Well, we have one lost ball. <laughs> Far left, uh, Doug. Ruben, we've talked about this a lot this year with JT and Cardale. At this point, do you feel like the offense is, the offense is is very different when one guy is in compared to the other? We saw what JT does with the running game. Different. Did you yeah. feel that tonight? Just, yeah, yeah, I felt a little different. But, uh, a little different, you know. Probably more so now as the season's gone on than I did earlier in the year. Uh, a 
little different. I think the read game, you know, that's not a big part of Cardinal's game, but which is kind of one of the parts of the foundation of the offense. So you have to get those yards somewhere else, and it's going to be that. And it looks pretty good when you're hitting that. Because they're, they're really, you know, at times, you know, just put them on. This team, that's their base because they have two very good corners. Stop the run, stop the run, stop the run. They, boy, they were up in there. And we're trying to be as creative as we can to get some runs going. Uh, but then you got to hit those passes. And final two, far right over here, Jeff. Coach, uh, if my numbers are correct tonight, Zeke became Ohio State's fourth leading all-time rusher. Can you talk a little bit about his consistency and just count on that guy all the time? Yeah, he's an animal. I, I love that kid. He's a, a team player. You can see the way he's holding on the ball because they're trying to strike him again. He's excellent at pass protection again tonight. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a workhorse that uh, we're very glad he's going to be with us. And final question over here to the left, Tino. Coach, uh, Bob Bell had a pretty summer game with Big Six and 10 memorable tackles. Um, you can kind of talk about his play and how he was all over the field. Uh, no more, but uh, I see what you saw. You know, I, I don't spend a lot of time right now on that. Like, on Sunday, I will find out how we did, but I saw the same thing. He's, he's just one of our most consistent performers, not just on defense, but on our team. Okay. Coach, thank you.